Hey guys, I'm Kate Simsley. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. And if you're new, welcome in. Today we are on the Riverside Grove Lodge in Strangerville, and we are building a ghetto motel. Um, this ghetto motel can be used as rentals. In fact, there are three rental units, as well as a landlord suite. Today we're going to, in this video, it's two parts. Today we're going to watch the landlord suite office exterior and utility room come together and then tomorrow i will have a video that shows the three rental units it was too much to put it all in one video it would have been like an hour long and i don't have it in me to do a voiceover that is an hour long so i'm doing it in two parts and i hope that's okay just subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you hit the notification bell it'll let you know that the video has been uploaded but it will be most likely out tomorrow. But this comes together pretty quick for you. I did cut out a lot of footage. I cut out like the repetitive stuff because I hope like I had to stick the same 10, 12 things over and over and over. And so I um I cut all that footage out. I didn't think it'd be very fun for you to sit and watch me stick up the same smudge stains and scratches a hundred thousand times. But it comes together pretty quick. I think we're at like 20 minutes. The video is at the most. And uh, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I really love these ghetto style builds. I do. I wish I could do them all the time. Because it's so much fun. In The Sims, where everything is just so perfect. You create this disaster. And it just makes me so happy. But unfortunately, it's not plausible to do that. Because they, they take so much time. Like, it's so much time to create them. It is so much time to edit them. The entire process of creating a build like this one, it's just too much work. And it, you'd have one video a month. That could be too much. But I do have this one for you, and there are others. I actually have a playlist on the channel. And it is um, called Building the Ghetto. And I will link it. I'll try to remember to link it at the top, but I'll probably forget. But I will put it at the end of the video for sure. But it has a ton of builds like this one. It has like a post-apocalypse store. There's a ghetto. Um, I don't know. There's ghetto everything. There's ghetto rentals. I've got that like in an apartment building. There's a whole bunch. So I'll link that at the end and you can see it. But as you see here, the shape came together pretty quick. And now it is a lot of adding dirt and scratches and just little things that make it uh ghetto i don't really know what to say about this it's it's pretty self-explanatory you're gonna watch it come together i did create like the landlord that would manage this unit he's actually on the gallery um and if you search hashtag k8 simsley you can find him this build or anything that i've done and same thing with social media hashtag k8 simsley is the best way to find anything i've done but he is on the gallery and he's splendid. I think he's got like, what traits did he have? I put evil, he's evil, but he's also lazy and he's a slob, I think. Like he's a terrible person and he's just gross. And I thought he was so fun. And so I used him to play test this. Now I did play test it. Um, okay. If you encounter issues, just look around for like cracks and dirt and whatever that might block you. It didn't happen to me. But I do know that it does happen to some people. Also, this build definitely needs move objects on before it's placed. I don't know what'll happen if you don't have move objects on. See, I have build by and it's built into that. So, like, I'm not sure what'll happen. I think, like, they all just kind of end up in weird places. So, yeah, turn on move objects before you place it if you decide to. It is on the gallery. It's going to be on there as Ghetto Motel. But again, the best way to find it is using the hashtag K8 Simsley. So you can see here the office comes together really quick. It has a desk with a computer as well as a bookcase. And then I just put decorations on the wall, nothing too spectacular. But I did put up the sign from Snowy Escape to try and make it kind of look like a little hotel or something. Like it's a motel. But my train of thought for this, okay. I was thinking this is like a motel, but it's like a short term rental motel. So these are full apartments. Like they each have a kitchen. They each have a bathroom. They have somewhere to sleep. One of them is a studio apartment. 
One is a one bedroom and then we managed to get a two bedroom apartment upstairs. And I figure that the two bedroom apartment, it's like a single mom and her kid. And she's kind of like just, it's the end of the line for them. You know what I mean? Anyone that lives here, they don't have anywhere else to be. Like I'm pretending it's cheap. I'm not sure how much it'll be. I haven't set this as apartments yet. So I'm not sure how much it will be. But in my head, I was thinking like in real life, these would be really cheap. And when you have nowhere else to go, and you're kind of down on your lap, this is where you would stay. And so that was my thinking here, but I'm not sure how much it'll be. I'm not even sure that I'm going to set them as apartments before I upload them. I know a lot of people have been having trouble downloading rental units, and I don't want that to happen. So I am going to upload this as just a residential. I might also do one, like another upload where it is set to be units. Otherwise, they're very self-explanatory. You could figure them out and set them yourself. But um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to approach that quite yet. So yeah, you saw the office come together really quick. It's really simple. The only so okay. The suggestion I give you is if you do download this and you want to play in it, the office, you're going to want to set it either to the landlord's, part of the landlord's unit, or you're going to want to lock the computer because there is a computer in there. Every sim that lives in these apartments and every sim off the street is going to come in and use your computer. So either set, I can either set it like you can as part of the landlord's unit or lock the computer or lock the door. There's also a door into the landlord's apartment, which you're going to see from the office. And so like, yeah, you're probably better off just like setting the office as part of his apartment. You're obviously not going to use it anyway because we don't have hotels, but like, whatever, it's fine. Short term rentals. So yeah, the way I was thinking it is that people that are down on their luck, they like a rank just to riches kind of thing. You got nothing, you live here. And I liked the idea of that. We actually got to have a hotel like this in the tent, like in the city I live in. There is like this ghetto little rundown motel and people rent out hotel rooms. They're a motel. It's not a hotel. It's a motel. And they rent out motel rooms like as apartments. So they'll rent them out on a weekly or monthly basis and they're very cheap. So that was my, that's what inspired my thought for this. And I thought, why not make it super ghetto? And uh, I wouldn't want to live here, to be honest with you. It has every bad lot trait that we have in the game. And it's, it's pretty nasty. It's full of, the inside of the apartments, okay. There's not really trash in the apartments. Like a couple of them have a little bit of trash. But there's a lot of stains and marks and just grossness. It's just gross. Here we're creating a, um small drain pipe that runs down the side of the building just for some realism right now it's white i do eventually change it to like a gross rusty green color but for now it is just a um a white drain pipe and it just runs across the roof and down the side of the building and i thought that was pretty cute i do end up putting like a little drain vent down there and i put puddles and just grossness on the ground and i thought that it worked where the drain pipe runs to, this is actually, we end up getting a barbecue and like a picnic table on this lot. And so that's where it's going to be is literally right by those newspaper boxes. And I think that that's where people would hang out and like socialize and just, you know, watch the world go by. Now, this was built in Strangerville. Obviously, it doesn't need to be placed in Strangerville. No one likes to play in Strangerville. I don't know why we can't turn off that pack. I really, really can't handle when you are in Strangerville playtesting and the zombified sims show up at your door. Like, I can't stand it. But you can't turn it off. So, you're supposed to be able to cheat to, like, complete Strangerville. And that'll turn that off. And it'll be normal people. But the cheat has never worked for me. I've never been able to do it. If you have, let us know in the comments. But yeah, I've never had it work. Like, ever. I always end up with weird zombie-like people at my door, and I hate that. But I did place it in Stranger Hill. You do not have to. You can have this wherever you like it, but it does fit really well here. It just really does. It's on a corner. It's kind of looking out over Stranger Hill. It's like in the heart of the town, and I think it worked pretty well. Here, we're just going to add some trash. We've got, like, markings. We have some broke-down cars in the back. We end up putting a dumpster back here so your sims can dumpster dive which is going to be really handy if you're like 
Rex to Rich's pour down on your lap. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a lot of grossness, and you're gonna watch it come together, I guess. There's still a bit more of like the outside, but I do cut a giant chunk of it out, and we're gonna move into the landlord's apartment momentarily. So the landlord's apartment, it actually is the largest apartment, kinda. Um, besides the two-bedroom, but it is a one-bedroom, one-bathroom, and we're going to start here in the bathroom, and it's pretty nasty. I just put, like, a green toilet and sink, because they looked the most run down, besides that, like, outside-looking one that I didn't think was fitting for here. Um, but it's got a lot of marks and scratches and dirt, and it got stains on the floor, and it's, it's gross. You don't see it all here, but I do use a lot of these stains we got with For Rent, and I just kind of put them under all the windows and running down the walls. And I use, it's called grunge. I don't know what it's called, something like grunge. Um, I use a lot of that on the walls. And it's pretty nasty, and I love it. But um, it comes together kind of quick. We kind of jump back and forth between this and the utility room. Just a heads up, like it's kind of back and forth. This apartment, however, the kitchen is actually a really nice kitchen. It's like a big it wraps all the way around the kitchen. It would be really nice. There's some potential in this unit, but my mind, in my head, the landlord is just lazy and he hates to clean. He actually, I set his, like, aspiration to be that fabulously filthy aspiration, and so he hates cleaning, and he's quite content in this rundown down a little apartment of his in this motel, and that was the whole basis of this build. He doesn't care about the tenants like at all doesn't care that their houses are messy doesn't care if things are broken he won't fix them he's just a slumlord through and through and so that's what inspired this and i thought that it was kind of fun like i think it's kind of hard to do that in the game because you know the tenants like revolt and leave or they won't pay their rent or whatever and you end up really not benefiting but uh in real life it's not that simple. We can't just revolt and not pay our rent, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'm sure there are some of us that would do that. However, like I said, this kitchen is actually, it's actually a nice kitchen. I wouldn't mind this kitchen. It's pretty big. And it wraps right around. I think it's, it, it works for me. From there, we have a little dining table out in the hallway, which you'll see in a little bit. But I think we jump into the utility room first. In the utility room, I just put one hot water tank and an electrical panel. Electrical panel. However, I did manage to get a washer and dryer in this build. There was only one washer and dryer, and that's for the whole unit. Like, it's going to be a common space, I was imagining. Um, but there's only one washer and dryer, and so that's going to be a pain in the butt. But it works, and I figured it was good to have something there. But yeah, I don't really know. I love this kitchen. It's really grungy and gross. You don't get to see a lot of that, but you will see it in the screenshots. And there will be plenty of screenshots for you to see. Besides that, I uh, managed to get my office together. It, I moved everything into the office, and I love it. It makes me so happy to have my own space back. However, my office is completely empty. There is nothing in here except my desk. And I'm sure you can hear the echo, because I can hear it like in the feedback in my ears. So I apologize for that. But actually... It's so nice to have my space that I don't care. But I do need to get, I've got like foam pads. So I got to put them up on the walls to like dampen the sound. And I got to hang some pictures or something. I did actually get a carpet in my office, which I've never had a carpet in here. Usually it's hardwood floor. But I thought an empty room and hardwood floor, that would be really, really echoey. And so I did put the carpet down. I got to put the pads and stuff on the wall this weekend. But I managed to get it set up and I'm so happy. Like I can't even stress to you how happy I am to have my space back. Like don't get me wrong. My parents are great. I adore them. And they were fun to have here. And they were very, very helpful. Like, so helpful. However, we live very different lives. Very different. They're very loud. Not that they're really loud. It's that they're going deaf. And their TV is always, like, full blast. I can hear word for word what they're watching from way upstairs in another room or even in the basement. Like, you can hear everything. It's so loud. It drives you insane. It's not even funny. So it's been nice to have some peace and quiet, and I've been enjoying that. But I didn't manage to get the office moved, so I apologize for the echo. But I don't care, because I feel happy that I have my space. <laughs> That's really mean to say, but I don't care. 
because I'm in my office and it just makes me happy. I need to paint it. Like my office right now, oh my God, it's like a pink color. Like it's like a little girl's room. That's what it looks like. It's very pink. And so I do want to paint it. I just don't have the energy to do that right now. So I'm just going to get my foam pads up on the wall and get over it because I can't, I can't, I don't have the energy. But it is nice to have the space back and uh, I'll take it. You saw there that I put like the dining table out in the hallway. We're going to add some curtains to the windows. And then I think we move back to like the utility room or something momentarily before we finish up on the bedroom. Like the bedroom, I kind of jump back and forth again. Like I jump all over. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm all over the place. And when I was building this, like I did part of it here, part of it there. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I tried, but it was a lot. It's a lot of build, seriously. Just placing these marks and stuff. Like, you do some of them, and then as you're in another room, you think to yourself, oh, I forgot to do that. Or you come back to look at something, and you realize, oh, I forgot to put stuff here. And so, yeah, it, it took me a long time to build this, but I'm very happy with the way it came out. So here we have the utility room that we're working on now, I believe, as long as I'm at the right spot in my video in my head. Um... And I like it. It comes together quick. It's nothing. It's nothing extravagant. I do make it larger. Right now, it's just like two tiles wide. I'm going to actually make it three tiles and I'm going to pull it in. So it's going to be like more square shaped. And that's when I add the washer and dryer, which we will do shortly. But this room actually is probably one of the cleanest rooms. Like I didn't, in the utility room, I didn't add a bunch of cracks and scrapes and stuff. There are a few, but it's not really that out of control. In the bedroom, we use the Eco Lifestyle bed. Um, it's just like a mattress on the floor, and I thought that was pretty fitting. I chose a swatch that looked all scratched up and ripped, and that worked. But yeah, we have a washer and dryer, like I said, and uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's really warm outside today, but uh, it's really windy. And that's making me happy. So when I'm done this, I'm going to go outside and go grocery shopping, which I really hate doing. Like, I usually don't go to the grocery store. I, like, order my groceries online and have them delivered because I hate the grocery store so much. But I am going to go there today because I noticed I was doing, okay, I use Instacart. The other day I was doing my groceries and I noticed that like the prices on there are more than they are in store, which was super annoying. So I'm going to go double check. Like I want to go there and see if it's cheaper or not. Like that really bothers me. And I've heard that it's a thing, but it's like a major thing. Some of the things you get are like $3 more than they would be in the store. And so that's not cool. But whatever, that's my plan. But I am going to end this shortly because we're coming to the end of the video. And then you'll see the screenshots. And I am going to go do the voiceover for the next video. So like I said, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so you're notified of every time I upload. And then you will have the second video as soon as it comes out. But it will be here on the channel. And you can find this build. Best way to do so. It's not up there yet. But the best way to do it is by using the hashtag K8Simsly. So I am going to finish this up. And we're going to jump into screenshots. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, give it a like, a thumbs up if you enjoy it. It makes me happy and helps me out. Share any ideas for builds that you have. I'm always looking for inspiration. I do create a running list and every once in a while I'll probably pull off there. But uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to come up with creative builds on my own all the time. And I would love to have any ideas that you might have of anything you want to see or things you want in your game if you're not a builder. Um, let me know and I will... Uh, Give it a try if I'm inspired to do so. But yeah, I'm going to go and let you watch the screenshots. Have yourself a spectacular day. And I am going to see you tomorrow in the next half of this video. Bye.